everyone. Your smart source for Orbit Lifestyle Entertainment News. I'm Essence Samaje. I'm Onika McLean. And I'm Courtney Rashawn. And Kizzy Cox is off today. So let's get a quick take on what's popping. What's mm, popping, yes. Essence? So MSNBC reporter Melissa Harris Perry has walked off her show. Wow. So she told her co-workers, co-workers reportedly in an email that um, it has been taken off and she stated, I am not a token mommy or a little brown bobblehead. I am not owned by N NBC News Chief Andrew Lack, MSNBC President Phil Griffith, and or MSNBC. I love our show. I want it back. And Perry has been angry about it. She was recently over her show being um, preempted for another programming. So she's upset about it, but she's strong because she wants to stick to her, her own opinions, what she feels is right. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. So Mayor de Blasio recently uh, signed a bill co-naming streets after New Yorkers. Nice. So he recently co-named the street in Queens after the late New York Nick Anthony Mason, fallen detective Randolph Holder, and he renamed a block in the Bronx called Hip Hop Boulevard in honor of the August 11, two, um, 1973 party where DJ Cool Hurt invented hip hop. Nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. It's about time they're getting some accolades. Yeah. Well, you guys remember Diddy's making the band. Mm -hmm. You remember making yeah. the band that show? Yes. Okay, well, Walking reality... Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> the Chiefs Juniors. <laughs> well, reality star Sarah Stokes from the popular reality show is allegedly suing BET. Stokes claims that BET ruined her image and that Stokes, Stokes was in jail in Michigan for beating up her significant other and BET reported her t reportedly convinced her to rewrite her story for Queen Latifah's... Um, Queen Latifah's new reality TV yeah. project from the bottom up. Uh -huh. But Stokes is saying that instead of making her story positive, BET totally took advantage of her story and trashed her name. And that's according to TMZ, of course. Um, so we'll have updates on this when, when she's released from jail. She's still mm, in jail. That's horrible to hear. It's like, could we try to help each other uplift our, us, you know, people in the African-American community? Exactly. And so, well, speaking of helping out African-Americans, Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg took a bold statement regarding Black Lives Matter movement. Oh, he asked good. his employees, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. He asked his employees to stop crossing out the Black Lives Matter um, signs on the office walls in the uh, Facebook offices. In a statement, Zuckerberg said, there are specific issues affecting the black community in the United States coming from a history of oppression and racism. Black Lives Matter does not mean that other lives don't matter. Yes, However, it's yes. simply asking that the black community also achieves the justice that they deserve. So kudos to Mark Zuckerberg Good for, for you. putting that That's out there. That's right. Absolutely. All lives matter. They do. All lives do matter. But in this instant, it's about the Black Lives Matter because right, of the racism and and the um, the brutality and things all of that lives nature. are not That's in danger. On. That's why. Yeah, we have the a black life is in yeah. danger. That's what it is. It's actually, just our history of you know the history of, um, of how oppression black, how and black people were treated, being colonized. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it's true. It's true. Absolutely. So, did you guys see Blackish the last? Yes. yes. Oh my God. Very Wasn't good. It, I, I couldn't even believe that they had that content. Okay, so Blackish recently aired uh, an episode of For the Ages. It was so powerful. It was talking about police brutality. It was, they mentioned Sandra Bland. It, it was just yes. so amazing how they did it. It was with such class. I was like, yes, America, see what you would, what I would have to tell my son or my daughter yeah. when it comes to police right. brutality. It was, black Twitter was praising them. I just, I just yeah. thought it was amazing. I it was done very tastefully. Mm -hmm. It really, really was. And it got a point at the point across and it showed both sides because I like how they had um, Tracy Ellis Ross, mm -hmm. um, you know, on the positive side, you mm -hmm. know, defending, you know, the police and saying that all police are not bad. And then mm -hmm. you had, um, you know, um, Anthony. yes, Anthony mm -hmm. Anderson, um, you know, making the statements from, you know, the black man's perspective mm -hmm. and what they have to deal yes. with. So I, was, I thought it was, it was really, a really good episode. So it was very, very good. Well, Tiny and T.I. have announced the sex of their unborn child. I didn't even know she was pregnant, but the rapper and reality star and his wife, Tamika, um, from the popular group Escape, are expecting a baby girl. Oh, good. Yes, yes. T.I. announced it on a radio station in Atlanta, and also in baby news, singer-songwriter Keisha Cole and Shad Moss, a.k.a. Bow Wow, are wait, wait, expecting wait. a child. Are Keisha Cole really? and Bow Wow? Keisha Cole and Bow Wow. And I little Bow Wow? Well, he's not little Bow Wow anymore. He's big Bow Wow. I can't believe it. Boss. I, I thought that was it. Erica Mena's man. Well, apparently they never okay, got. Okay, I just yeah, really like, got they never got He started. He started. Um, you know, I guess I don't know if they were together with his baby mother. I forgot her name, but her, his baby mother 
rekindling. I don't know if it was a relationship, but definitely co-parenting. But her, him and Erica Mena, they broke up. Yeah, they're but done. But he was already having a baby. I don't know about Keisha Cole. Cole. I don't know. Really? Really? Yes, 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 yes. Mm. It was all, it, well, it was blowing up all over social media, all over Twitter, um, and all over um, Instagram, and you know, just the, the blogs. They were saying that Keisha Cole and Chad Moss, aka Bow Wow, allegedly expecting a child. The couple has secretly been dating, but they were denying it. And yeah, then finally, it, yeah. they just announced that they were pregnant. So congratulations to both couples. Wow. That's what happens when you get your, your jump off pregnant. You better <laughs> we're together. <laughs> Don't sue me, because Keisha ain't made a song. At one time. No, I'm not mad at Keisha. And you know she has a uh, child from her former relationship with yeah. the NBA player. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's up with Effie and uh, Natty. Neffy and, and Wait, Effie is that, and is that, is that, Frankie. Is, wait, is that from The Color Purple? I just... <laughs> yeah. I didn't ever throw it about that. Oh, Shay. <laughs> Nothing. The Color Purple. I love The Color Purple. I know. Okay. Wow. These are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> What would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Welcome back to What's the Forum One. Here's what's popping. Okay, ladies. So, director Ava DuVernay, you know, the Oscar ceremony was the other day. She didn't go because of the lack of black representation, but instead, she decided to go to a Justice for Flint rally where they had a contest, con concert raising money mm -hmm. for, you know, the Flint water for the victims of um, Flint, Michigan, because the water has been poisoned for, for a long time with lead. Yes, yeah. yeah. What yeah, do you think about that? Good for her. Yeah. yeah, it's very good for her. For her. She's, she's just a social activist. Mm -hmm. She is... She She's the bomb. Yeah. She was a PR person, and then she just kind of like chucked it. It was like I'm just gonna chase my dreams. She's dope. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Dope. I love her. Mm -hmm. Dope girl. Okay. So Essence Magazine hosted Black Women in Hollywood luncheon, and the who's who in Black Hollywood was was there. Um, Oprah Winfrey gave the opening remarks. I just love Oprah. We love Oprah. I love Oprah. Oprah. We love you, Oprah. <laughs> Idols. Right, so Oprah, they honor Debbie Allen, who gave an, a phenomenal speech. I mean, when I say I Debbie her. Allen is the truth, she was like, mm -hmm. you all should pay homage to the birth canal. I was <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Right, yeah, it was like, it was amazing, and they honored a lot, so they honored Lapita, they honored Ava DuVernay, of course, she mm -hmm. snagged the Visionary Award, and, and um, Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes. Who, who had lost her voice earlier in the week and was like really going through some emotional stuff. She came, she kind of like brought the house down. I had a couple girlfriends that were there. I was so jealous. And I'm not normally jealous. I was like, I want to be in that room. <laughs> My girlfriend texted me and she was like, I'm just crying. It's just so much greatness. It's just black girls rocking. I, it's powerful. I just love seeing women empowerment mm -hmm. coming yes. together and enlightening other people. It, yes. was just, it was just amazing. Mom, 
can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Yay. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing on trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Wow. These are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Krug's Zinkor Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Welcome back to What's the 401. So ladies, this is Women's History Month. Yes. So excited about that. And we are celebrating Black Girls That Rock. Yes, because so. we're Black Girls That Rock actually. Yes, we are. Yes. So mm -hmm. what a great way to segue into speaking about a group of African-American women who they were mathematicians and they contributed to bringing the first man that went on the moon, Neil Armstrong, to the moon. And excitingly enough, there's going to be a movie that's made about it starring Taraji P. Henson Great. and also Octavia Spencer and supposedly Oprah Winfrey and hopefully hopefully Viola Vi Vi Davis. Oh my God, that's that star yeah. studded. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. And they all rock. Exactly. They all rock. And in not a Women's History Month, speaking of Black Girls Rock, I've mentioned the black girls in my family. Now, my family has some amazing, amazing women um, that, have, that have contributed a lot in history. So I'd like to give an honorable mention to my cousin Gloria Hendry, aka, AKA Rosie Carver, who was the first African-American love interest to James Bond. Oh my God. Yes, she was. Wow. And Live and Let Die in 1973. She played the character Rosie Carver, and she was actually um, credited as the first African-American love interest for James Bond. And I also have to mention my cousin, uh, Mary Helen Hazley, who was the first a black executive assistant to the president of Macy's in the 1950s, when this was something that was unheard of. And she also was a part of the dance troupe that included uh, Catherine Dunham, Eartha Kitt, and Sidney Poitier. So, oh, wow. You know, like family rock. Influence <laughs> all throughout your family. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And this is just the women. This is just mm -hmm. the women. So I definitely would like to, you know, pay homage to them because they did, you know, make substantial contributions throughout history. So it's, it's a cool thing. Very cool thing. I'm actually very proud. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> um, In honor of black Girls Rocking and, and uh, Women's History Month. Um, I found this article in Essence Magazine talking about the 29 boss women in the uh, Obama administration, nice. right? So starting with Loretta Lynch and then down to like their, their um, their publicist secretary, I can't think of I can't think of her name. I didn't even write it down. But there's like so many if um, affluential women mm -hmm. in that administration. I'm just like so floored yeah. and just honored. It really I wish she could go for too. another term. I do, like I do. I just, uh -huh. I'm just. I, it's it's inter interesting to see what's gonna happen now. Right. You know, it is. It's yeah. interesting and very scary, but no, I'm hopeful. Time. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Well, you feel have the to burn. Be hopeful. You gonna feel the burn? You gonna feel Bernie the burn? Sanders for president. Hillary Clinton for president. Feel the burn? I mean, that would be nice with the theme "Black Girls Rock." I mean, not Black Girls Rock, but Women's History Month, but. Well, I just feel like this. That's, I mean, the, this that's the reason why the, uh, I think that would be nice. Well, and my, just my personal opinion is because um, we all loved Bill Clinton, and that's his wife. So it's basically we're getting the female version of Bill Clinton back in office. So it's another four years of Bill Clinton 
in for in the form of morphed into Hillary Clinton. We all love what Bill Clinton looked like. That's what he's going to play that saxophone. <laughs> he's not playing any saxophones anymore. And his other um, activities on the late night. I so <laughs> won't mention that. <laughs> what do they say? They say, the, if the gardener, right, if the gardener's wife <laughs> wanted to cut your grass, would you say, well, he's she's the wife. I'll let him do it. No. Well, there has to be some sort of influence. That's just my personal opinion. You know, I'm not, you know, imposing on anyone else. That's my personal opinion. So mm -hmm. go, Hillary. So, <laughs> another black girl that rocks, Amito Lagoon, who was a model and walked this New York Fashion Week. And there was a lot of controversy about her lips after MAC Cosmetics posted a photo of her lips, of, them wearing, of her wearing a lipstick on their Instagram page. And there were some racist comments, people saying that she had Jay-Z lips. What? Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. So much prejudice. People talking about her lips, making fun of her, but she took it like a pro. She wasn't discouraged because she posted the same photo on her page and said, my lips giving you guys sleepless nights. And I love that about <laughs> her. I love that. She's a nice. beautiful girl. It's just sad at this day and age people are still making fun of someone's facial features, especially something as prevalent in African American community, full right. lips. Yeah. And not for nothing, I mean, you know, you think about, you know, and I love the, you know, the Kardashians and the Jenner family, but you think about Kylie Jenner and her, her lip kits that's promoting fuller, you know, more fuller lips. And then here you have, you know, uh, uh, people online, you know, making fun of African American lips, you know. So really, what's the difference? You know, it's okay for Kylie Jenner to have these, you know, big, full, beautiful lips, but it's a problem for the African American model to have full lips, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, you know, it's a catch-22. It's like, and this is an oxymoron, and people are just grow ridiculous. Grow up, learn from the past. There's been cartoons from long ago that you see where they have these black doll-looking characters with huge orange, orange lips trying to portray African-American features. It's yeah. just sad that you see people still looking at a black person with full lips and as a joke, but Kylie Jenner is her fake lips as beautiful. We need to redefine what beauty is. We need to redefine what beauty is. Girl, I couldn't well, have said it Well, obviously, myself. beauty is, is full lips because everybody's jumping <laughs> on the bandwagon for the full lip trend, so there it is. Exactly. So, in support for Amito, we have the movement, which is Pretty Lips, period. So, you can post that hashtag with a photo of your lips with lipstick on it in support for her and all people of beauty. That's right. Yes. <laughs> colors, whatever That's shape right you are, right. whatever type of lips you have. I love it, I love it. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Being a dad can be tough. No, 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 what do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything. It is I. Cruz, zinc or bell? Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always yeah. worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back to What's the 411 Now. I have a story. I'm calling somebody on the carpet. I never do that. But this is like a really good story. So 
Johnson and Johnson is being cold on the carpet. Why? For I their pal no. So Johnson and Johnson has uh, been sued for a law uh, has lawsuit for cancerous baby powder. So the baby powder that the Johnson and Johnson baby powder, yeah, baby powder, the talc powder that they so they found out that they've known about it for a, a really really long time, years and years and years. That talc is cancerous and it should be pulled off the market. They they didn't do it. So this woman she died of ovarian wow. cancer, Jackie Fox, and uh, what they had was they had a um, a whole class action suit against Johnson and Johnson and wow. you're not really hearing about it I mean I were, I'm a legal yeah, professional so, so. I'm, I, I looked at the complaint and all that stuff but it's just so ridiculous so the woman for years was putting baby powder in her um and her panties. That's supposed to be old and faithful. And no, like a... this talc. So I looked. So yeah. I had Johnson and Johnson on my desk because I put it on my set face. Your face. Yeah, every day. We I see set it. my you face with it and I was like well it, they had to have changed it. I looked at the ingredients talc and fragrance. Wow. So they still so have these So the products. lawsuit, seventy two million dollars. Wow. So I guess it just offset what they were making all this time. So they just like thought about it and said, you know, yeah. why tell people? But think about that. Exactly. That's keep quiet money because I don't see it in the media a lot. No, you don't see it in the media. But mm -hmm. I mean, that is like a really big um, award, and it's just really ridiculous. Like, I, we really need to get the word out. Like, if you Absolutely. have that, power, congrats to her much money. It, no, she died. <laughs> she died. Her family. That's some sad stuff. Well, what's so, even sadder is that people, so you know, historically have been using Johnson & Johnson's baby powder and baby powder, period, for their children, for infants, and things like that. So, you know, you just never know that, you know, you're exposing your child, you know, your infant child, whose body is basically vulnerable, you know, to this toxic, you know, substance, which mm -hmm. is not really a good thing, you know. So, I mean, you know, def they definitely need to pull it, pull it from the shelves. They have it. That's crazy. I'm, I'm just thinking about it's that. I am crazy. like appalled. Are you serious? I put it on my face all the time. She was she was using it for. She was using it for feminine hygiene. Yeah. You know, shower yeah. to shower each day. Kept kept keep right. odors away and so all that like stuff. So it was like really potent where she was the towel. It. It's the towel all the time. Shower to shower keeps odors away. <laughs> it doesn't. No. Well, that, that, that's my carpet story. I just feel it's really sad. So if yeah. you guys know anybody that's using that powder, please let them know to throw that crap away because it's 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 poisonous. Wow. When we return, we'll have stories in the pipeline. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always yeah. worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Welcome back to What's the 411. Here are the events that are in the pipeline. Okay, so the Let's Dance Tour 2016 featuring Silento, I Love Memphis, Slow, We Are Tunes, and 99% will be at the King's Theater on March 11th. Filmmaker Ken Burns, historian Henry Louis Gates, along with Mikael Martin, will take place will take part in a conversation called American Fault Line, Race and the American Ideal. The event will take place at the Brooklyn Academy of Music on March 16th. Tickets will be available to the general public. Please go to www.bam.org for more information. Don Cheadle stars as jazz great Miles Davis in a movie entitled Miles Ahead. The movie will open in theaters worldwide April 1st. Also, actress Ashley Murray has been cast as Josie and Josie and the Pussycats and SW's live action Archie Comics pilot. Currently, it's in production. Nice, nice. This should be fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Submissions are now underway on a new filmmakers with a real sister of the Diaspora Film Festival and a lecture series, which will take place this fall. Wow. For more information, go to www.realsisters like R E 
E-L-Sisters.org <laughs> for more information. <laughs> Carmen Diego and Empire's Jesse Smollett join the cast of the upcoming film Alien Covenant. The film is currently in production and is scheduled to be released on October in 2017. Are you kidding me? Yes. Nice. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. We would like to bid a fond farewell to Yolanda Besby Fox, former Miss America, who defied convention and set her own standards. She also participated in the civil rights movements and once said, I'm a Southern girl, but I'm also a thinking girl. We also like to bid a fond farewell to actor Tony Burton, who played the trainer in the Rocky movies. He passed away at age 78. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zink or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Well, that will do it for this week's great episode of What's the 411, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, check us out. Check out our website, what's the 411.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Blab, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. Check us out. Mention us on all your social media outlets. Yes. Add us, and we will mention you on the show. You, I mean, let's just be interactive here. Exactly. Comment everything. I'm Essa Samaja, and on behalf of Courtney Rashad and Anika McLean, thank you for tuning in to What's the 411. Who's got the 411? 411, they got the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411. What's the 411? The 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. We got the 411.